hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking how are you doing i hope you are doing amazing i am doing great how i've been feeling this good in a while yep if you're new to this channel thank you so much for clicking i'm um, joining the family make sure you subscribe um yeah if you are truly gang thank you so much for coming back i love you so much thank you so much for you know watching this video so yeah um i had gone off as you guys already know because i was sick i don't want to keep talking about that but um although i was not as active on youtube i was really active on instagram which reminds me if you're not following on me on instagram make sure you follow me on instagram this is my instagram handle miss trudy okay with one s um yeah i was active on instagram and um i asked you guys to ask me some questions and you guys actually did you asked me so many questions and that is what we are going to be answering in this video Are you excited i hope you're excited because i am um <clears throat> yeah by the time we are done with these questions you're gonna know you, you i think you will have answers to many of the questions you have had recently because some of you have been having many questions you know like i have a new editor how much do i make on youtube <laughs> my wedding um my relationship am i pregnant am i so watch till the end because by the time you're done with these questions, you'll know much more about me than you know now. But before I go ahead, I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this video, Sendwave. If you are in the diaspora and you want to send money back home to your loved ones, what app do you use? Sendwave is the best app. They're very affordable and they're very fast. So go ahead, use Sendwave and drop a comment. Let me know. What has your experience been plus you have to use my code miss trudy to get uh five credit off whenever you use um, my code miss trudy and also you stand a chance of winning 50 dollars. so go ahead and use send wave hey guys i know most of you use send wave i'm so excited because i have something in common with most of you for those of you who don't use send wave let me tell you why this app is awesome so if you travel a lot or if you live in the diaspora, you know, sending money back home can be a hassle. But that's where Sendwave comes in. You know I love Sendwave? Sending money with Sendwave is fast. They don't want to keep your loved ones waiting. Sending money with Sendwave is affordable. Escape the ridiculous transfer fees. You work hard for your money and they want to make sure you keep as much as possible. With Sendwave, you can send money to M-Pesa mobile money in some of the largest banks in kenya such as family bank cooperative bank equity bank kcb ncba and sbm bank and because my people at sendwave care about you guess what they are giving you five dollars off your first money transfer all you have to do is use my code miss trudy ah sending money back home doesn't have to be a hassle anymore for those of you who already use Sendwave, drop a comment. Let me know what's your favorite thing about Sendwave. There you go. Send money to your loved ones back at home with love oh. using Sendwave. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> the first question is about someone asking about my health. Trudy, how have you been since you were sick? Well, guys, I'm glad to say that I have been um, I have been well the last couple of days. Um, my health has improved drastically. I thank God. Um, yeah, thank you for your concern. You guys are so sweet. Look at you asking about my health. I feel so loved. Another question. I wrote down your questions, guys. So in case you're wondering, this is what I'm looking down at. Um, yeah, this. There's so many questions. They are like uh 42 and i didn't even finish all of them because of time but i'm gonna try to be as fast as possible so let's go the second question someone is asking um how did you feel when you bought your car well i felt like nothing is impossible because when you're young sometimes you want to achieve things but then it's like Aish, how will i do it i don't have the money how you know how will i but then when you finally accomplish it it's like oh my god 
nothing is impossible so yeah that's the feeling i had so if you have a dream or if you want to achieve something and you don't even know how you will do it just remember that nothing is impossible pray put in the work and uh never give up yeah um someone else is asking who is your new editor well um you guys don't know him <laughs> uh he's he, he's a guy called paul uh we just started working together um we're gonna see how far we are going to go i hope we're going to work together for the longest time but we just started working together um yeah so we shall see how it goes someone else is asking how has your health been thank you so much guys for your concern you guys are so sweet street gang you, i just love you guys i love you so much thank you so much for your love and support jumping on to the next question someone else is asking when should we expect our wedding from you and Rodemaya? Hmm. <laughs> i don't know I, I don't know um when i know i promise you i will let you know okay uh, before i go on i want to give a shout out to teshi beauty they did my hair and i look so good what do you guys think when i'm thinking of a hairstyle to do i like to do something different you know something that doesn't look like everyone else because there are not so many styles so this time i decided to go with this style i actually asked on a poll on instagram and um yeah this was the poll and i asked which hairstyle should i go with and uh well i ended up going with this one so if you love my content and you don't see me often on youtube if you want to interact with me even more hop over to my instagram and you're gonna find me there yeah anyway on to the next question who do you see as your role model number one is oprah number two is steve harvey you know oprah is the richest woman in the world steve harvey has come from so far from being homeless to being a multi-millionaire and inspiring the whole world someone is asking me trudy why do you eat a garlic spoon <laughs> Okay, so I'm sure you probably saw my stories on Instagram and I was actually, I've been showing people how I'm trying to improve my blood count because I had anemia. So I'm showing what I'm eating, mostly just to garlic and vegetable and liver. So I eat to garlic with spoon one because of my nails. Look at these nails. You know, I don't want, you know, the garlic going inside my nails and things like that. So that's one reason why I eat to garlic with spoon. Number two, to be honest, sometimes it's like, ah... If I eat ugali with spoon, sometimes I'm busy. It's like it, I'll have to distract myself to go and wash my hands. Is that being lazy? I don't know. But then I'm like, let me just use spoon, okay? Am I even making any sense? But that doesn't mean I never use my hands. I actually do, but not all the time. You get. Can you please come up with a new powerful intro? Yes, I am working on that. I'm going to come up with a new powerful intro. I'm just going to need some time. I was thinking maybe I should come up with a new intro when I hit 300k. Um, but you guys have been requesting it and you know your wish is my command. So I'm totally going to look into that. Yeah. How is your health? Thank you so much. I'm better now. Is it true that you're pregnant? I... Guys, let me tell you something. You see these things you wake up and you see online. I also wake up and see them online. I learn about myself every day. I wake up today and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm pregnant. Oh, okay. Um, oh, this is happening. Oh, okay. Like, I don't know even. So it's crazy. But these days I'm just... Don't believe everything you see online is all I can say. I hope that makes sense. So at the moment, I am not pregnant. But when I get pregnant, I will totally... You will hear it from my channel. Something else. Can I meet you someday? Totally. Totally. We can totally meet up. Um, what business idea do you have in mind apart from YouTube? I have always loved real estate so if i wasn't a youtuber i think i would be in real estate and still though i'm a youtuber i have my side hustle is real estate i am totally into real estate i think real estate is the best kind of investment because once you invest you don't have to keep going to work every day you can just sleep just relax and at the end of the month guess what you can get a check so that's amazing what do you guys think let me know what uh, investment you think is the best to venture in for me i think is real estate let me know which one you think is the best and why someone else is asking about the wedding when are you gonna get married i don't know but trust me once i do know i will let you guys know okay <laughs> but at the moment i really don't know how did you meet your boyfriend i feel like this is the most the most talked about story on my channel by me um yes but i met my boyfriend in ethiopia about three years ago 
thank god i did She's such an amazing guy you know um yes so if you want to see that story in detail i actually did a video um about it just talking about how we met my boyfriend and i so just type miss trudy um, how we met then you're gonna see the whole story it's a whole video and i hope you like it who do you look up to in terms of content creation well i look at up to my boyfriend in terms of content creation i look up to odemaya i think he's very hardworking, very focused very determined so i look up to him yes are there days you wake up and feel like you want to give up or you are not enough let me tell you something last month had been the worst month of the year for me hey of the year or of the last two years maybe even the last three years last month was the worst so many things kept going wrong and i felt like giving up i'm not even messing with you guys i just i just got tired you know like i'm just tired you know but then when you think of how far you have come to get to this point and then you just give up i should know no 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 so to answer your question yes there are moments when I just get tired. I just want to give up. I am so done. It's very difficult when you're in that situation. It's so hard. But it's your life. You know, if you give up on you, then that's it for you. You know, at least if you keep pushing, you know, there's a chance you will make it. But if you give up, you're giving up on your dreams. You know, you're giving up on yourself. Things get hard, but never give up. Always know that there's a brighter day ahead. Things are always going to get better just never give up ah okay guys let's go on we are i think my hair is looking good wait, wait 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 if you think this hair is looking good please drop a comment below and let me know and remember if you want your hair to be done like this you've got to go to tashi's i'm gonna put their link in the description box so you can dm them and you know go for your hair and they do so many things they do massages clubs you know oof oof they are your kind of people trust me as i continue i just want to tell you if you have a question for me that i haven't answered please leave it in the comment section i'll make sure to answer it you guys already know that i reply your comments someone is asking truly why do we ignore tags on your ig i tagged you i'm so sorry maybe i did not see the tag but i really don't ignore if i don't reply or i don't repost i haven't seen it yeah so if you're following me on instagram and you ever tag me and i don't repost it's because i haven't seen it but whenever i see i do repost you know yeah um when are you coming to the caribbean wow hopefully next year now the year is coming to an end um yeah i think next year someone is asking when are you coming to zambia and namibia i was to come before the end of the year but the way things have been going you guys i don't i don't think i'm gonna come before the end of the year but hopefully next year god willing so wait for me i'm coming i'm coming don't give up on me i'm coming and um, what course did you study in campus i went to st paul's university and i studied mass communication yes it has actually kind of played a role in what i'm doing right now i remember when i was going to campus i i was so confused my dad wanted me to do nursing i didn't want to be a nurse because i'm scared of blood i didn't know what to do but after so long i'm talking years i settled on mass communication and you know it's not it wasn't a bad choice because it kind of goes in line with what i'm doing now right how tall are you i am five two let me ask you a question how tall do i look on camera <laughs> drop a comment and let me know but i'm actually five two another question what is your dream car oh listen if you know me you know that my dream car is a jeep not just a jeep but a red jeep don't even mess with me right now oh when i see them on the road something inside of me just boils like is it feeling butterflies or boiling i don't know but i am moved i love jeeps and i love red jeeps i can't wait to own one I can't wait to own one. Let me know what's your dream car and why. Drop a comment and um, let's have that conversation. Okay. Um, which YouTuber do you wish to interview? I would like to, you know, interview everyone. And I've worked with most people, most YouTubers in Kenya. At least that's what I think. Who do you think I should work with next? Drop a comment below and let me know. Drop, drop a comment. I feel like I have skipped some questions. But I feel most of them are being repeated. Like how I met my boyfriend. Do you think of relocating to Ghana? Guys, I don't even think of that right now. 
it doesn't even cross my mind i think when the time comes i will think about it but for now i'm just enjoying life i'm just chopping life chale i'm just chopping life so what is your favorite day of the year um my birthday my birthday is definitely my favorite day of the year i get to reflect a lot you know I, I i set my goals you know it's just the favorite i was born on that day what other day would be my favorite day christmas no but christmas is definitely one of my favorite days but not number one up how often do you take water someone else is asking so i try to take water as often as i can however i limit myself when i go outside because i don't like using public toilets i've gotten infections a couple of times is that too much information i don't know but yeah i prefer taking a lot of water when i'm home when i'm home i take a lot of water but when i want to go out one hour before i go out i just stop taking water and i know i still need to do better because there are times when i stop taking water and then i remember then i go back to it so i'm just trying to be consistent with my water intake let me know what are some of the things you can do to always you know remind yourself to take water some people use an app on their phone what do you use drop a comment let me know let's have a conversation let us help each other live a better life what was your first driving experience like like immediately after you got your driving license <sighs> that was scary so scary you know i was driving on thika road this is like right now it's the biggest highway in kenya mm, right now because i know after mombasa road is done it will probably be the the biggest or the best so it was very scary being on the highway not like a two-way road like highway you know oh my goodness very scary if you know thika road kenyans that road i'm telling you so i was so scared i was scared of lorries you know i was freaking out i was driving slowly and whenever my brothers or dad will talk to me they'd be like focus or then they'll tell each other stop talking to her because she can't listen to us talking and drive at the same time it's confusing her it is crazy and then sometimes i will go to this other lane i ended up having an accident but since then i am i think i'm a prolific driver these days i'm so confident but it didn't come easily i just remember praying to god i please i need confidence on the road please i always after i had the accident i always wanted to have someone in the car because it gave me confidence but you know what now now i think i'm pretty good i think it comes with time have you had an accident before drop a comment let me know how it changed you for me i remember thinking Eish, this life would i rather be doing anything else you know and that's when i decided i'm in the best career because i wouldn't want to do anything else youtube is what i want to do you know just drop a comment let's have a conversation do you ever feel discouraged someone else is asking yeah i feel discouraged every once in a while but i'm learning not to focus on the negative things i'm learning to be to be grateful you know i watch steve harvey and motive you guys if you watch me a lot you know i watch a lot of most motivation and steve harvey talks about gratitude um you need to be grateful if you're grateful then it's hard to be depressed worried discouraged so i try to be grateful as much as i can because there's so many things to be grateful for although things might be going wrong let's look at the positive things and be grateful for them the fact that you're alive you know you can function you can see you can touch you can talk you can taste you can hear find something to be grateful for that's how we do it when is your next meet and create i just said i want to do my next meet and create hopefully um when i hit 300 000 subscribers so subscribe if you haven't already join the family the what are you waiting for come on um how is your dad doing oh my dad is doing great um he has been in and out of hospital but um he's okay i thank god for him maybe one of these days i'll do another collaboration with him um how did you gain confidence to be natural in front of the camera i think number one is just god i just I, I can't do it by myself it has so it has to be god number two before i was a youtuber i i used to be a promoter in the supermarket uh, by promoter i mean these people who stand to sell products like omo royco blue band stand from like eight to six no 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 leaning you know no sitting you stand and sell a product so i think uh that cultivated my confidence you know that was in person just now that i'm doing it in camera so i think it, it was you know that's one of the things that played a role plus i was also head girl in my high school shout outs to shiners girls high school Ooh. i was also clap class rep in my university shout outs to st paul's university so um yeah these are some of the things that i think have helped to build my confidence because 
as a leader you need to stand up you need to speak you need to say when things are wrong and things are right so i think it builds your confidence so yeah that's what, that's what i think someone is saying what will be your letter to your younger self you're 23 year old well i will tell myself to just hmm to trust god and that everything is gonna be okay you know if you're 23 and something is worrying you right now ask yourself one year from now is it even gonna matter like i can't even remember what was worrying me at 23 and it's not like it was very many years ago you know but i can't remember so sometimes we worry so much about things that are gonna pass and they're not gonna be important you know and then you have all you need you know you have everything you need and you have it good right now you might not see that but wait till you get older you when you look back and you'll be like oh my god i had it easy you know it wasn't that bad or this happened for a reason you know so yeah i will just learn to you know do my best and trust the process that that's what i will say i hope that answers your question you guys who is your new editor guys Yes, they have a new editor, you guys. You don't know him. But he's doing amazing so far. We have only been working together for even less than a month. So I'm yet to see how things are going to go. But um, I'm positive about it. Let me know what you guys think about the editing of the videos. Um, do you want to get married and have kids? Of course. I want to get married and have kids. Isn't that the dream of all? Okay, not all, but most girls. Yeah. So where did you buy your dog? So my brother is the one who actually bought our dog um, and he, he bought it from a friend. What is the highest you've ever made on YouTube? Guy, guys, I you guys. Highest I've ever made on YouTube, you give it a guess. Give it a guess. Can I give you a range? Let me just give you a range, okay? It's between $1,000 and $10,000, somewhere there. See, that's a fair range. I think that's a fair range, right? so mm, but I, I can't complain god has really been faithful god is so good god is so good i i don't even know i don't even know i'm, I'm just i'm just i'm just so grateful another question is um can you collaborate with an upcoming youtuber of course i've been collaborating with upcoming youtubers totally 100 percent. what are you saying yes i can last question um what has your journey from beginning what has your journey on YouTube been like from beginning till now? Um, well, my journey has been really crazy. If you guys remember, um, oh, I don't know if you guys are OGs. It'll drop a comment. Let me know if you used to watch me those days when I was creating content in the streets of Nairobi. Um, it wasn't easy. You know, it was just crazy. I didn't even, I wasn't even creating content for money. I was just creating content. I just knew I didn't want to do a nine to five job. So I started content creation and I didn't even know it would pay me. Fast forward, oh, I thank God I did YouTube. I thank God I kept going. I thank God I never gave up whenever I felt like giving up. YouTube is honestly one of the best things that has ever happened in my life. It has showed me that nothing is impossible. And I thank God I took up YouTube when I did because the world is moving to the digital space, you know. So the journey has been a roller coaster of emotions, happiness, you know, sadness. A joy ah oh, man it's just been a whole roller coaster i have met so many people i have learned so many lessons and i'm so grateful i'm so grateful for youtube and i'm so grateful for the journey i have been on now it's almost like four years wow oh my god wow just thank god for youtube and if you're doing youtube if you're starting um just stay focused and never give up sometimes things are bad um but don't give up if you don't give up you'll reap the benefits but if you give up then um, i'm sorry but it's just gonna be another story of giving up so just never give up because you don't know what the future holds for you and there's just greatness if you don't give up so keep pushing and um as i finish up i just like to remind you that nothing is impossible thank you so much for watching i love you so much stay tuned in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Actually, before I go, let me know. Now that I'm in Kenya a lot, what are some of the kind of videos you want to see from the house? You know, what do you want to see me doing? You already know that your wish is my command. Bye.